Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. You saw that Chelsea was asleep on the couch. I guess she got hot last night and decided to sleep out there. And she slept in longer than she slept in in her really long time. Huh, Chelsea? Yeah. <laughs> She's still pretty so, crazy. Like, I sat down here at first just to watch and then I got sleepy, so I just laid down. Oh. Then I went to that couch. Then I went upstairs and went to the floor um, in my bedroom. Aww. And then I went to um, the couch out there. And then I finally found my sleepy spots. Well. Okay, I'm going to go. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay? Eat your breakfast. Do your chore. Or we can't go to the movie. Okay. I'll fill you guys in here. I'm going to go to an ortho appointment. And I keep saying this, but eventually... I'm gonna find out when I get these braces off. <laughs> I keep having like thoughts that it's gonna be today, but we'll see. Okay, you guys, I'm just barely gonna be on time. In fact, I'm like gonna be like a minute late. So I'm gonna do a, hurry and do this now. Just in case, this is me just being hopeful. Just in case this is my last time wearing braces. I just wanna document what I look like with braces so that we can get in a before and after. You see, I want to be done. I think they're straight enough. They said last time they were closing the last gap. Fingers crossed, you guys. Maybe I'll come back with a cute little smile. I'll need to get them white and cleaned. They're gonna be nasty, but maybe we'll get braces off today. Should we see? Okay. Nope. So he said I could take them off today. He literally said, if you want to be done, I will take them off today. Which I'm tempted. It's so tempting to take them off. But he's trying to close, you can, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, teeny tiny gap from the top to bottom. He wants the top to overlap the bottom just a little bit more. And we're worried that I'm stalling out. That he's not able to move them anymore. He gave me a stronger rubber band to wear to give more of a pressure pull on that top jaw but he said in eight weeks if that still doesn't change that gap like we took pictures today to see if there's any change in eight weeks he said if there's no change in eight weeks then i'm done there's not much more they can do for me he's like you could have surgery to have that like fixed but i don't know that that's even a route that i want to take either so i don't know it's just it's disappointing i you know like i i i'm tempted to take them off today but I, I don't want to like spend all this money if there's a chance in eight weeks I could make them look really good. I will make that decision next time. It's the end of summer, literally like the last week of summer that I'm going to come back and make a decision then. So I don't know. I'm kind of bummed. I didn't really want these on any longer, but we'll keep trying. All right. So I've got a whole gaggle of kids. There's one. There's two. There's three right here. Abby. Where's Abby? And then Kaylee's going with her friend. She probably doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> I got two more. Emma? Come on. You don't mind. Abby, are you coming? Okay, and then we got Chelsea outside and her friend Henry. Come on, let's go get in the car. And all of us are going to Toy Story 4. Heaven help me. <laughs> Luckily, they are going to be really occupied with this movie. So, wish us luck. Should be really fun. Um, Abby, are you going to get your bag or is this Kaylee's bag? Yeah, it's Kaylee's one, of Okay. And we have to sneak in our movie snacks, of course. So, we are set to go see a fun movie. It is cold in the 60s, raining, misty, gross. So, perfect movie day. film 
a ton because we had the one extra family plus Kaylee's friend and she's was kind of weirded out with the camera so and I don't know her at all so I didn't want to like kind of pull out the camera and put her on the spot so the kids had a really good time at the movie we all survived and I don't know it was a good time but they have about two hours two or three hours before they have another activity to go to tonight with another movie night it's kind of a rainy movie day died. No, my battery didn't die. My my uh, disc was too full. So I cut off right in the middle of my sentence and then I had to go and dump all my footage and then anyway, it was a whole two hour process. So I have just dropped off my two older girls for a church activity at a friend's house. They're going to watch movies in their pajamas because it is a cold rainy night still and they're gonna snuggle up and have a good night. Hopefully Chelsea and Ashley are working their way toward bed. It is already seven o'clock, kinda lost our afternoon. We didn't do much. The kids played like crazy. I think there's all eight people here at the house and I heard lots of giggles and laughter and games and hide and seek and all that kind of stuff. So they occupied themselves quite well today. Well, I got some work done on the computer and I'm gonna call it a night. So, unless we do anything super fantastic, thank you for watching today. Not too involved, just cause it was a rainy, cool day and we spent a lot of time in front of the movie. So, anyway, I hope you're doing good. Maybe Jason will check in with you guys. He came home from work early it took him an hour and 20 minutes to get home, but normally it only takes him about 30 minutes to get home. So he kind of like was bummed and frustrated because he left like really early and wanted to come home and enjoy time before the girls had to go to their activity tonight and he lost all that extra time in traffic. So he was kind of annoyed when he got home. So maybe he'll want to check in with you guys and see how you're doing. Let him see what he's going to do for the night. Most likely he'll just watch a movie and try and relax. So anyway, not too exciting of a day. And tomorrow we are going to start cleaning our house and packing to go on a road trip to see my family down in Utah. And I will end this by saying hello to my nephew Max. My little nephew Max, he's eight years old and he, poor guy, he is in the hospital right now. And He's kind of been occupying my thoughts today. Um, he has pneumonia. Poor little guy, can't breathe. They almost life flighted him to another hospital, um, in a, a bigger hospital that was more equipped to try and help him. But he stabilized last night anyway. Um, so I'm excited to see them next week and give him a hug. He'll be out of the hospital by the time we get there and hopefully everyone's kind of recovered well. My sister looks like she hasn't slept in two days because she hasn't. And um, Andy, we're thinking of you. Love you, Max. And hopefully you watch this video in a week when you are all better and we're outside playing at your farm. So I, I'm gonna end it here. I don't think we're gonna have anything fantastic to do at home. Um, take care, you guys. Have a great night and a great summer. We're having a rough start to summer. <laughs> Hopefully our trip to Utah to see my family will kind of start us on a better path for summertime. So take care. See you later. Okay, read it. Come and meet the animals on the farm. Good job. Next page. I don't know that word. That word is feel. Feel the soft, soft fluffy, fluffy chicken. Chicks. Chicken. Okay, next page. Stroke. Stroke. The smooth. Smooth. Velvety. Velvety horse. You can't see it. No. It's right there. Oh, that. I know what that is. Okay, What's, this is tickle. Tickle the dog fur. Furry. Furry. Where is it on his body? Tummy. Tummy. Okay, say good night. Good night. Give us a like. Give us a like and give and give Sus us a 
subscribe and give this a thumbs up. Okay, take care. Take care. Bye.